Yeah, they gave him that little side, but, you know, it's just like, you know. He he still knows it was pity. Anyway, getting into this, we got Cy Freeze, who we saw earlier on um, lose to, I believe it was Luck, made it all the way back here, getting the loser's quarters. Um, so he's going to take on Pop. Lucas Ness, um, we got on Smashville. Both very much love this stage, so we'll see who gets the um, who gets the upper hand here. Pasta with Pasta quickly yeah. taking the uh, this match by the yeah. range here, putting on a good amount of damage. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say, Ness, I always felt like uh, Lucas had better tools, but that's just plain wrong. Between Ness's Nair and I actually getting a chance to see this matchup. It's so much. It's so yeah, much more it's obvious. It's just like, to me. for me, I look at Lucas, and I see um, a superior combo game. I see a superior kill confirmed game. Right. But then I look at Ness, and it's just like, with the back throw, his aerials are probably just like all around better. Right. Um, like they're strong. All of his aerials can pretty much kill. And Lucas obviously has the edge in recovery. But Ness, it's just like he has so much raw kill power that you'll be surprised how early Ness can kill you. You know, Lucas, right. he needs to get that grab to get the kill because his like his aerials aren't as good for killing. You know, his no. back air being the spike, it's like not as useful. Yeah. And um, it's so oblong. You know, it's just really weird to nail. Like oh, and the up air gonna take it out. So freaking strong, man. Yeah, he doesn't actually use Beto. That's just his name, if I recall correctly. I remember and him set. I was there when he was setting up the controls. It looked like he was working on it. Yeah, but then he sits in camp for like three hours. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not to throw any dirt on him, I'm just saying, like, I haven't seen one Beto tech yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what it looks like. There's, hasn't seen one application for it. Mm. Yeah. So, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I didn't here, notice it really earlier, but. Going for the grab, a, a throw, you can really just pick your throw and kill Pasta right yeah. now. So Pasta's got to do a good job, and he's doing a pretty good job avoiding He knows that if he gets a little too close to Psy Freeze on the ground, he's going to go for that grab. So, oh, I'm surprised he didn't just go for it out of shield to punish the PK Fire. PK Fire has a surprising amount of ending life from Ness. The so. thing about this is... I was wondering who it was. Um, yeah, the thing about this is, is that with with Ness in this matchup, it's just oh, good night. Oh, and that is, is the pasta special. Back, it, it's really interesting because Ness will stand on the ledge, and if you do a regular getup, Ness is behind you somehow. So it's like it's perfect for He's what pasta wants to do. You. Yeah, honestly. Um, and if he reacts to the roll, then he can just get you. So honestly, it's just like that's a very strong option. Something I've seen Pasta do plenty of times now after watching him for a while. Right. Um, so he's gonna take out game one in pretty dominant fashion. Didn't even drop a stock. So we're gonna get that salty run back right back to Smashville. And Cy Freeze has definitely gotta like try to freeze Pasta's momentum. Otherwise, he's gonna be out of this tournament very fast. I think that here with uh, with Lucas here, he's already got 52 damage. I don't even know how Ness just simply overwhelms him, and it's just like both of them do very well converting off grabs, yeah. but Ness just being the superior spacer in this matchup, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much of this is just inexperience in the matchup, uh, or um, or whether or not it's just Beto just being a little too scared here. I yeah. mean, you can just tell in his play stock, he doesn't want to fight. Yeah. Like, it's gone. Pasta just has him figured out right now, I think. Um, he's just like getting every conversion, the Nair out of shield, such a great option. And Pasta's just turning every single hit into like good a good opportunity. Every time he gets a hit, he has stage control, you know. Or he oh, mm. that Falling up there is there, so strong. He was at 130 when he died That's at the at damage. the stage 20 with damage. no rage at all. Kids, it's it's just crazy how much raw kill power Ness has, and um, Pasta's definitely using it to the best of his ability. Cy Freeze has to get something going, otherwise he's going to be looking at a quick 2-0 uh, mm -hmm. and a ride home. Or maybe using that Beto that he's actually uh, has a name. I don't know if that's just his name or whatever. Oh, but. we got follow up. No. Ooh. That, 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 that bear did 15%. Yeah. Why does that bear do 15%? Uh, um. Oh, well, uh, uh, looks like he took a page out of NTBD's book there, throwing some grabs at long range. Yep. Except he's not actually doing what NTBD does, which is actually convert and do good stuff with it. Man, man, these shots. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just calling it like it is, man. This is terrible yeah. right now. 
Like, th I mean, in, in the neutral, you would think that if you did the same thing about like eight times at this point, it's probably time to do something else different. Like, not just sit in space with the same three moves. Oh, going for the downer. I, I appreciate the option. He predicted the air dodge. It just, he misplaced it a little bit. The downer is probably one of Lucas's best tools for there catching an air dodge. Falling and there. getting some conversions now. And Cy Freeze is doing a pretty good job of bringing this back right now. See, now, now there you go in using your tools. That's a perfect example. Back now throw will take it out. He's like, I got one too, man. Yeah, now you're back in this. You know what I mean? He's walking. Yeah. That's all right. You know, you can get a little disrespectful after you get a kill. That's cool. Now you need to go back to doing what was working, not what was pushing you off stage and losing stage control. Because it looked like trading nares right there was working. Oh, really very good, good job DIing down to make sure he got time, down in time to power shield that. It's and just. When I, when, when I want to go back and look at my matches, I want to know what is possible for me to improve. And, yeah. you know, as a player, if I'm sitting here, I'm watching what's wrong. Like now, he's, again, playing scared. And Pasta oh, got and him against the ropes. Regular getup. That's all she wrote. What, Pasta got him like that twice. And he did a very good job of jumping when he saw Pasta go to the ledge. But that time, he just panicked, did a regular getup as soon as he hit the ledge and ended up getting back thrown. Regardless, he, d he had a good run. He um he lost in what I think winners round three made it all the way to losers quarters getting taken on fifth place, good performance um but certainly uh, left something to be desired there at the end Absolutely. um he just his performance got a little sloppy at the end he I wouldn't even say it was just sloppy I think it was just uh, a lot of it was possibly just comfort. You know, because once you get into a zone and you're feeling like, okay, I got space anymore, man, this guy's overwhelming me. It, it's really hard to be like, well, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah. Well, you know, you got to find out what works. And what works is what actually helps you convert. First thing I saw him do was actually, like, land in there. You know what I mean? He was clearly getting punished super hard on whipping so many grabs. And then you have to notice where you're getting hit in the match. Like, am I getting the most of my damage?